This is called the leg in the air yoga pose. Doggy yoga. Sit, dog sit. Have a scratch. Hello and welcome to another weekly vlog. I think we're on like weekly vlog number 17 already, which is crazy. Um, I didn't think I would manage to keep these going every single week, but we have had a weekly vlog every single week since I started them, which is awesome. And I'm so glad you guys are enjoying them too. So it is Tuesday. We're still in lockdown, surprise, surprise. Uh, I have been working from home all day. I've been chilling most of the evening. Yeah, I had a good FaceTime with my parents and Rachel earlier. It was really nice to catch up. And yeah, I've had a busy day at work, another busy day tomorrow, another busy day Thursday, and hopefully my workload should calm down towards the end of the week, which is nice. I have done a really good clothes wash today so I feel in like I've done something productive so I'm gonna just get that over on my clothes horse and I'm actually gonna get myself into bed so I'm starting the vlog quite late because I want to get a good night's sleep which is always my aim <laughs> and it's the constant struggle for me during lockdown is just to get to bed at a reasonable time and get a good sleep but it's just about half 11 so I think it's a good time to get to bed and chill wind down and hopefully get a good sleep tonight um but thank you guys so much for coming along and for joining me for another week i love hearing how you're all doing how you're all getting along so do leave me a comment down below and let me know how you are doing <sighs> i'm doing okay i have had a very relaxing weekend i really did nothing productive whatsoever but I'm also feeling very motivated this week. So tomorrow I've already arranged to have a lunchtime workout with my friend. I find doing those ones with my friend is good because if I don't have somebody else to kind of, kind of keep me accountable, I just don't do it. So we've already scheduled in a workout for tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna get myself into bed. I've already made a lovely sleep nighttime tea. It is the chamomile tea which I have been drinking lately and absolutely loving. I love having a cup of tea before bed. Obviously, you don't want normal tea because it's caffeinated and it's gonna keep you awake, but a nice chamomile tea or I have some sleep tea from Twining as well and they're lovely before bed and they do get me really nice and relaxed. And then I spray my pillow with my sleep spray. So yeah, we're all set for a very good sleep. I'll catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> Fingers crossed, nice and refreshed. <laughs> Good evening. It's now Wednesday, Wednesday evening. Um, I've just got off the phone with my mom and my sister. Um, we did our Wednesday night face masks, which have been really good fun. Um, we just get on and we all wash our faces, put a face mask on, chat for a while and then take off. And it's very nice. Um, and then earlier, just before that call, I actually caught up with my friend Natasha, which was really nice too, because we hadn't caught up in the last few days. Both of us have just had a crazy time lately with work and everything. So it was nice. We just had like a beer and a chat and a catch up. And yeah, that was good. Um, but it is late. It's like nine o'clock and I still have a little bit of work to do, which is really annoying. Um, work is just so crazy, but it's like I think I said yesterday, it should calm down soon. Um, so I'm going to just finish this bit of work off and then I'm going to try and unwind and relax. I did not have a great sleep last night, surprise, surprise. Um, I think I got to bed, got to bed when I, when I spoke to you guys, just before bed. And then I think I probably got to sleep like close to two o'clock. It was really bad. I just couldn't get to sleep and I made the terrible mistake terrible mistake i've got onto youtube and then ended up on a video about this girl who's a youtuber in london who got coronavirus really bad and that was not what i really needed to be listening to and watching before bed so then i listened to my audiobook for a while and eventually i fell asleep but it was tough and then this morning was like every morning i could have slept for another like two hours even though i set my alarm for eight i probably got up about quarter to nine yeah so tomorrow i actually have a conference call at nine so i need to be up and ready earlier so we'll see it's just the constant struggle to get 
to sleep at night and then to get up in the morning. I just need my sleeping pattern to change and it's apparently proven impossible. <laughs> it is Thursday morning and I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I don't know if you can see but like my eye um, lids are so Oh, it's not the word like swollen. I always get really swollen eyelids when I'm tired. Um, I'm just exhausted. Um, I'm not sleeping enough, and it's okay when work isn't crazy. But when work is crazy and I'm not sleeping, it's just so tough. So I probably got to bed. I went to bed like around midnight. I don't know really, half twelve. But um, I was definitely awake till after two and I was up at eight, which sounds all right, like, you know, six hours, but it's just every night, <laughs> it's every night that I'm not getting enough sleep and work is so draining. I worked from morning till mo pretty much last thing at night yesterday. I did take a break and you know chatted to my mom my sister and chatted to Natasha which kept me sane but <sighs> I actually like had a little cry bit last night <laughs> I don't even mind the busy work it's just like it's the not sleeping and then I think it's the busy work and not sleeping and then obviously everything that's going on at the moment and the problem is I could sleep in the morning so easily. Like I literally have to drag myself out of bed, but I, I just can't get asleep at night. And then we just repeat the process. So I'm gonna make myself have a bat tonight. I'm literally gonna try, I'm gonna Google getting asleep and I'm gonna try every single trick in the book to get myself asleep earlier tonight. So we'll see. Um, I'm making myself a coffee because I really need it. <laughs> My lovely Waitrose coffee. I'm still uh, waiting to try my new Joffrey's coffee because this Waitrose one is open. Yeah, the Waitrose one I have is open, so I want to use that up first. It's always better, like, especially if you've got ground coffee, just to, like, if you open a bag, use the whole bag before moving on to something else because coffee is so much nicer when it's fresh but i have been smelling my cone blend did i even show you the guys this i don't think i did so i got joffrey's i definitely haven't showed you guys this yet so i got the kona blend from kona cafe and then i got the victorian albert's blend um so the kona blend is hawaiian beans blended with mild central american beans to enhance the natural flavor always present in kona coffee and that's a medium roast and I think I got that in a French press I did and then um this Victorian Albert's one is a deliciously rich coffee with a nutty flavor and deep chocolate overtones and it's a full flavored coffee and um, I think this one I got in whole beans yeah I did I got whole beans because I figured like I didn't want to get three big bags of French press I actually got a second Kona one because I know I love that one um, I didn't want to get three big bags of French press because, as I said before, um, you want to have your coffee like as soon as possible. So I figured I'm better off having the um, whole beans for the Victorian Albert's blend, which I'll save for last. And then I can just grind that coffee when I'm ready to use it. Anyway, I better get to work. <laughs> okay. You're up on the shelf and I'm feeling a whole lot better. My day is done, it's like seven o'clock now and that should be the worst of it over. <laughs> so I think um, tomorrow work shouldn't be so crazy and then obviously it's the weekend, it's Saturday and Sunday. I just don't know where this week has gone. It's felt incredibly long and painful while also going by really fast, which doesn't really make sense. And um, yeah. I've been a bit, a bit, I've been a lot like up and down <laughs> as you could probably tell from my check-ins like this morning and last night but uh, I feel a big sense of relief now that a lot of that work is done and yeah I'm just gonna like give myself a proper pamper evening. I'm gonna like tidy up first so that I've got a nice clean space and then I'm going to maybe do another face mask even though I only did one last night but you know what? 
we're in lockdown and I've got face masks so <laughs> I might actually have a bath as well and I'm gonna make sure I get into bed early even if I don't go to sleep I'll just get into bed listen to my audiobook and just be very zen and chilled I luckily don't think I have like an early morning call tomorrow I might actually pop out for a walk because it has stopped raining it's been absolutely horrific weather all day but I, I actually haven't been outside in a while. <laughs> I literally haven't been out for a walk since Saturday and it's now Thursday. So that's not healthy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go out for a walk, I think. That's probably the most sensible thing. I'll stick my audiobook in my ears, even if I only go out for like 15 minutes. I could probably just do it with some fresh air. Then I'll come back, clean up, and then I'll have a very chilled and pamper related evening. And then tomorrow is supposed to be my pre-travel day, which is obviously not happening. So myself and Rachel are gonna do some fun things tomorrow. You guys have left me some great comments on the vlog last week. So I'll go back to them, we'll have a chat. We've already got a few things we wanna do. And then I'll also maybe post on Instagram today so you guys can give me some more bits of inspo for, I think we're gonna kind of spread it over, like we'll do a bit on Friday and a bit on Saturday. So we'll have like a pre-travel day um, tomorrow where we're gonna do our nails and like have a very chilled evening that's like a little bit Disney inspired. Maybe have like dinner together via FaceTime or something, I don't know. And then Saturday, we're gonna try and have like a Disney morning because that would have been the day that we like arrived in Orlando. So we were talking about like putting on some parade music and dancing around and lots of different things. So yeah, I, some people have been doing um, like Disney shopping as well. Like, you know, cause obviously you can go online and do some shopping. So maybe I need to treat myself to something Disney related, but it's been so hard not to do loads of online shopping. So I'm trying to rein that in as well. Anyway, I'm gonna go out for a walk because I feel like I need that just for my mental health right now. <laughs> and um, like I say, I just feel so much better. So that's really good. I was not in like a really bad place, but just very overloaded the last few days. Um, and this morning was just bloody awful. It's a bit later on now. I actually just got off a WhatsApp chat with my family, which was really nice. We caught up for a good like, hour and 20 minutes or so. I definitely think I'm getting more screen time than ever before. I'm sure everybody's the same right now. I'm just gonna plug my phone in because I definitely drained the battery doing all that yapping. Um, so I'm actually feeling really tired and it is half 10. So I'm gonna get myself into bed because I do feel like I'm quite sleepy and I could actually get to sleep. So. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a sleep tea, which I love doing in the evening. Make a sleep tea. I'm gonna do my like nighttime face regime. Do you know what? I actually find that very relaxing. I even did it this morning after I spoke to you guys probably when I was like in a bit of a stay. But um, I went into the bathroom and just did my face regime, which is, you know, pretty basic. I just wash, I use my Foreo um, like vibrating cleanser and in the mornings I use my hydration serum and vitamin C serum and then some moisturizer. But there's something about it. I don't know, I find it quite calming. So same in the evenings, I find my nighttime routine very calming. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna get into bed with a lovely sleep tea. I'm not sure if I'll maybe watch TV for a bit because it is still, like I say, it's only half 10. I might watch TV for a little bit and then I will listen to an audiobook or something. I've been re-watching Gossip Girl. I'm not sure if I said that already, but I'm, I think I'm still in season two. The seasons are long, <laughs> uh, but it's really good. I love Gossip Girl. So it's nice kind of watching something that doesn't take my full attention. I think I've explained this before that, you know, sometimes I watch trash TV or like, like Gossip Girl, something I've seen before. I don't think Gossip Girl is trash TV, by the way. I think Gossip Girl is awesome. <laughs> but I've seen it before, so it doesn't need my full attention. I, I quite find that quite nice when, you know, I have a lot on my mind. I can kind of zone out, and I, but I don't really need to be fully focused watching the telly. So I think that's what I'll do. Get into bed, sleep tea, Gossip Girl, and start my nighttime regime and get into bed because I'm super sleepy. It is Friday. 
I literally couldn't be in a more polar opposite mood today than I was yesterday. I'm in such a good mood. Um, I don't have a busy day at work. I've had a few meetings this morning. It's now lunchtime. It is nice weather out. It has been raining, but like the sun's come out now, so I'm gonna go outside. And I'm just feeling great because it's the weekend and I finally get to relax and I had a good sleep last night. It was still a bit of a late go into bed time, probably. Well, no, I did. I went to bed early actually and I watched some TV and stuff in bed. I probably got asleep about half 12, which is a record for the week for sure. And then I slept till about half eight. So I got eight hours sleep and it just goes to show sleep deprivation is just so so bad for my mental health um it just put me in the worst mood yesterday and i just feel so much less, less anxious and oh i feel like a new woman it's so good so i'm gonna put on my headphones listen to an audiobook and go out for a bit of a run walk to get some exercise and i was gonna do my um lunchtime workout with my friend but she's now having a crisis at work so we're gonna do that tomorrow I think. <sighs> what a difference the day makes. <laughs> I'm vlogging hon. <laughs> so I've just got a Soap and Glory face mask on. Soap and Glory's Soap and Glories. Soap and Glory face masks are one of my favourite. And I'm FaceTiming Rachel because tonight was supposed to be pre travel night. You so sad Rachel? just in the middle of this. Oh, I think I put it's on the wrong way. I definitely put it on the wrong way. <laughs> we would have been in Gatwick, staying at the Block Hotel. Oh, that is definitely the wrong way. Um, yeah, we would have been in Gatwick, staying at the Block Hotel tonight and flying to Orlando tomorrow. But instead, we're in lockdown, doing face masks and doing FaceTimes. <laughs> Same thing, pretty much. Yeah, so close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to try my... Um, Disney Kona Blend coffee. Stop it. I probably, by the time you get yours, I'll probably be ready to try mine, so. Hopefully I get mine tomorrow. So Rachel ordered some as well. What did you order, Rachel? Um, I ordered two of the Kona Blend, one of the Iggy Vittorian Alberts and one of the Tiffins. Oh, Tiffins. I told you I placed a second order, did I? Did I tell you? I, I don't know. I think I ordered California Grill, some more Kona probably. I might have gotten um, Tusker House. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I was actually looking at what, like I was looking at what kind of coffees they were. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's why I didn't order some because a lot of them were dark. So it is quite a bit later on. I actually got ready this evening so I had a shower I dysoned my hair and then I put on a little bit of BB cream and a little bit of mascara I did my eyebrows I did my YouTube live with Natasha I then facetimed home and me and Rachel continued our pre-travel day evening I've actually just filmed my monthly favorites video for April so I've just got stuff everywhere i've got my lamps out i've just pushed them over to the side yeah and i actually was just drinking some sleep tea i need to finish that off but it has made me quite sleepy <laughs> i'm conscious that i don't feel like i've done a whole lot of vlogging this week i don't i feel like that most weeks and then when i actually go to edit i do have quite a bit of content but i really feel it this week like i haven't just with um all the stresses of work and stuff earlier in the week i haven't really been cooking with you guys this week i actually didn't get my usual um meal box delivery i did actually get a delivery of some food but it was um like pre-portioned like single serving things that arrive ready to eat just because i got an offer in um time out i'll leave it down below the company's called love yourself it's actually been lovely um they've given me like soups and really nice salads and stuff and then also like nice cooked food as well so i had salmon and sweet potato cakes today for lunch it was so nice you literally just have to heat it up because it's fully fresh they deliver it every evening so you actually have a fresh meal like you get five 
not five meals, five things for the next day. You get breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks, and they're substantial snacks as well. So yeah, it was, it's, it's been really good. I've actually got two more days of it though, um, which I won't use until next week. I've had three days of it this week, but it's been really good. Now I got one that was limited to like 1,500 calories a day, which is just good because it helps me control what I'm eating to be honest, because it's been really tough to do that at the moment. And then because I ended up having such a crazy work week, it was perfect. So I didn't even have to think about food. Everything was just ready. Anyway, so I think what I'm gonna do now is just chill out, watch a little bit more Gossip Girl because I'm at some good bits of season two. I've just been binge watching it so much. And um, yeah, then I'm gonna get myself to bed, take my little bit of makeup off and get into bed. I actually am quite tired. Maybe I'll just go straight to bed. What time's it? Oh my god, it's 12 o'clock. I should probably just go straight to bed. <laughs> so it is now Saturday and I'm just FaceTiming home. I've got Dad and Rachel and Mam's there too. Hello. <laughs> and me and Rachel, well, there's a cone of coffee to hand. Me and Rachel are both wearing our travel day tops, which are our airplane mode tops. Rachel's got her purple one on. I've got my grey one on. Because today's supposed to be travel day, but it's fine. Because we're having Disney coffee instead. <laughs> I feel the same thing. Yeah, so Rachel's, I mean, you've got your Kona blend. Let me grab mine. I was really confused because look, so I got the Kona blend and then, wait, you see the other one. Oh, it's not so good. I got a Victorian Alberts one and I was like, that's way better value because it's so much bigger, but it's because it's whole beans. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's much bigger. Yeah. Okay, so okay, we pull this apart, pull, pull this apart. And then I think you pull opposite sides. Oh. oh god, it's so hard. Did you get it? Did you get it? No. Uh. Uh. Oh. I opened it too far. Yeah. I've got coffee beans on the counter. <laughs> Time for the smell test. Oh, it smells nice. Okay, so I think I have to use two tablespoons, which is what I've got here. And uh, that's just gone in there. Although it said two tablespoons for every six ounces. So I actually think I need two and a bit. Okay, so I've just put the water in. You leave it for like 15 seconds, let it foam a little bit, and then just give it a mix. And then when do you top up with the rest of the water? Okay. It's so weird because I guess I've been using ground coffee normally, whereas this was actually specifically a French blend. French press, sorry, blend. But like, it's really big. The beans are really big. Like the ground, the grind is really big. It's not ground as much as what the ground coffee is. And I assume, I assume that's so it, you don't end up with little bits getting through your press. Buzz, come here. Hi. <laughs> Oh, thank you for my kisses. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> there we go. There's his little face. It's press time. Oh, it goes down real smooth. I'm gonna go with pen. No, I'm gonna go with Simba. Simba. Okay, so I've got my Simba. Oh, could you not? Right. It doesn't look like particularly dark. It's nice. Mmm, it's very smooth. Uh, I would make it stronger though, I think. His way he tries to just look everywhere except for I know, when you call him, he's like, oh, Buzz? Buzz? He just won't look. <laughs> look at his cute face. I wake up on Sunday morning, feel the ache inside my heart. just back from the shops I went for a walk to the big waitrose it's actually like my first time properly going outside in about a week um I really struggled walking back with my bag I never feel like I'm buying that much and then I try and carry it home and it's really painful and it's actually quite warm outside today but anyway let me show you what I got 
I actually got some sushi, but I ate it as soon as I came home because that was my lunch. I've got some scallions. Oh, I need to put this bag somewhere more accessible. Uh, hold on. There we go. So I got um, scallions or green onions for my loaded fries because we know I love them. Some mushrooms for my favorite avocado bagel. I got some bacon which I'm planning to use for burgers I'm gonna make. So this is eight smoked British back bacon rashers, matured with maple syrup. I love maple syrup bacon, it's so good. I also got some uh, Monterey Jack cheese, cause I felt like that was perfect burger cheese. And <laughs> you're gonna laugh. I got another Easter egg. I think it's an Easter egg, yeah. Dairy Milk Freddo. East oh, actually, yeah, one Easter egg, one Freddo treasures, and two button bags. It was 70p. <laughs> they actually didn't have many Easter eggs left. That was pretty much the only Cadbury one they had. It's, it's a bit of a naughty weekend. I've been eating very healthily, and I've had a very rough week, and... I think I'm gonna have a bit of a naughty weekend based on the shopping that I've just done. I've got some beer battered onion rings to go with the burgers. And the burgers I got are these caramelized onion and ale beef burgers. This is what I'm gonna use with my homemade Big Mac sauce that I'm gonna make. Also for the burgers, I got some pineapple because pineapple is so, so nice on burgers. And some cherry vine tomatoes these are my favorite tomatoes and i feel like you can get away with little cherry tomatoes on burgers as well instead of those big i don't know i just find big thick sliced tomato not very appealing but little cherry tomatoes they're so sweet like i would literally just eat these i don't even need to put them on anything they're so so nice i also got two avocados i got some ginger shot basically a huge bottle of ginger shot. If you remember a couple of vlogs back, I had the little versions of these, but it's actually obviously a lot better to get a big bottle and then you can just um, pour it out. So this is actually eight shots, it says, in this big bottle. I might actually have a shot of this before I jump on my Zoom because I love it so much. And I got a very naughty dessert. Let me show you. <laughs> so I got this raspberry and pistachio tart. It's so good, I've had it before and I got some extra thick Jersey double cream. And I got a lovely uh, spicy, crunchy sushi, which was really, really delicious. I've absolutely devoured that though. I now need to scramble around and try and clean things up a little bit before I jump onto this video Zoom and I'll probably make myself an alcoholic beverage. So I had my Zoom party and it was so much fun. Uh, we've, they played some really good tunes. So basically my friend's dad ran the Zoom session and like played music and kind of muted the rest of us. So we could just listen to music and bop about and it was so much fun. Um, and then we had like a little chat going as well so we could all chat to each other and stuff. But yeah, it was really good. And then we sang happy birthday at the end. Um, definitely a good idea for birthdays, I think. I still don't know what I'm gonna do for my birthday, which is the 26th of May. Um, I'll have to have a think about it. I've had a banging headache most of today. Um, I did, I told you I, guys I went out for my walk and stuff to Waitrose, but I've just had a headache pretty much since I came back. Um, so I've not really been doing very much. I've just kind of tidied up around and I'm just chilling and watching Gossip Girl still. Who knew that Hilary Duff and Tyra Banks make an appearance in Gossip Girl season three. I finally made it to season three after watching about 50 episodes. I can't believe how many episodes are in each season. Um, but yeah, I was just watching the episode and like Hilary Duff has popped up and Tyra Banks in the same episode. Um, and I do not remember that. So I'm very much enjoying re-watching this. Um, but yeah, I think cause I'm just feeling pretty um, headachy. I'm just gonna drink loads of water and um, and relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. It's been a bit of a weird one, like I said, because you know, this is the week we were supposed to go to Orlando and right now I'm supposed to be on a plane and yeah, or maybe I'm supposed to be off the plane. I think actually right now, literally right now, I think I'm supposed to be landing at MCO. So yeah, <laughs> as you can imagine, that's not great. I feel like I'm out the other side of it now. Um, it's just been an, a rough week, so um, 
yeah i just think it's all caught up with me today i kind of woke up like just feeling like i had a hangover even though i only had two beers yesterday and i always drink plenty of water and stuff but i just felt completely dehydrated and awful and then i felt a bit worse when i went out for my walk to the shop and came back carrying the bag and stuff um so yeah i don't know just feeling a bit run down so i guess i just need some rest and relaxation but anyway my head is honestly just banging right now so I'm gonna leave the vlog here um I might insert some extra bit of footage if I if I end up cooking something um but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you've enjoyed and I feel like next week is gonna be a better week so I'll see you next week bye <laughs>